Through the E-Squared Energy to Educate program, Constellation offers grants to schools working to solve today's and tomorrow's energy challenges. The program awards grants of up to $25,000 to programs for grades 6 through 12 and up to $50,000 for colleges and universities. Since its inception in 2010, Energy to Educate has provided more than $3.4 million in funding and reached more than 186,000 students. We are hosting our first week of the Physics Wonder Girls Camp at the University of the Sciences. It's really a wonderful initiative to encourage girls who are in middle school, if they have a passion for STEM, to preserve and grow that passion for STEM. We have brought a, a cohort of 15 elite uh, middle school girls. We give them a playground to be inspired to pursue physics, to do physics experiments, to do experiments in energy, and in the process, inspired them to continue their interest in science. Middle school is the time when many girls decide to step away from STEM. But what this camp manages to do is help them build a network of peers that can really encourage their passion for STEM. I've learned like a lot of new things and worked with like new friends and everyone here is just really nice. If you have something that you don't know, you can just like ask and no one will laugh at you or anything. At the end of four days, they don't want to leave because they've learned so much. To see that happening is very satisfying for me. So I found out about the E-Squared Energy to Educate uh, grant from the Constellation website. A lot of the girls are doing work related to energy. If we can get Constellation to fund the girls and give them this experience with real commercial grade devices, they will be better inspired to pursue the sciences. Currently only 20% of BS Physics graduates are girls. We want to see more of that. E-Square Energy to Educate program really aligns very well with the goals of our university as a whole and especially this camp. Constellation and New Sciences both want to support STEM education for women and that's a very important intersection.